Welcome to Low Country View of Hilton Head. My name is Earl Yates, I'm your host. Today, uh, my first guest is Cindy Sturgis. Cindy is a uh, English teacher at Hilton Head High, and of course she's the coordinator of American Pie Presents. It's the, um, I guess it's the All-American Tour, and they've been running American Pie for about six years now, and it's a pretty successful production done solely by the students from Hilton Head High. Uh, a little later on the second part of the show, I'll have some of those students on to introduce themselves and say exactly what they're doing. But first of all, Cindy. Hi, Earl. How are you doing? I'm doing fine, thank you. Good, so just give us a little information on the American Pie series that you've had gone for the last five years and this is your sixth year going. Yes, this is a, a concert really. It's uh, using the student talent the musicians and the singers and so forth to put on a rock concert, but it has a little bit of a twist. Students also write a script that gives it a, gives it a theme, and they also produce the entire show. It comes out of a creative writing class that I teach, and they produce the lighting. They have a lighting script. They do sound. They do um, set. They do marketing. They come all together and kind of maestro all together and kind of put a show, really produce the entire show. It takes a few months to do that, and um, they find out very quickly kind of a real life scenario, and it also becomes a service learning project because all of the proceeds go to Relay for Life. Now, you said it was a, it's from a creative writing class. Mm -hmm. Of course, you have uh, music, um, certainly performances and everything. You don't usually think of creative writing or the English part of school to put on such a performance. How did you come up with the idea of American Pie? Well, certainly there's script writing. I guess that's the technical portion, but really what it comes down to is an expression of voice. And to me, that's what creative writing is. We start with poetry and we do stories, but it's all about finding out who you are inside and being able to express that. And so this gives another avenue for students to express themselves. Um, it's not just the creative writing students who perform, but it, we provide a venue for those students who may not always have a, a way to perform in high school, a way to show their voice. And so oftentimes when they first start in the ninth grade, if someone auditions and, and comes out and, and does it, they're there for the four years. So we have, we seem to grow our own musicians and we also grow writers. In fact, last year one of our graduates um, is going to become a stage manager based on her experience with American Pie. So it's all about finding out who we are and our place in a production. So now you said it was um, about 100 students that are in this production or at least uh, takes some part of it. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of kids. Yep. <laughs> um, and of course, they're all responsible for their own duties. Yes. And there is an audition process. There is. And before the audition, we have our committees made. We have all of the committees that I mentioned. And that's a, that involves about 30 kids. And I also have a homeroom that is kind of the overseers because they decide they want to kind of help with American Pie. So they also are involved. So about 30 to start. And then we audition. And we have this year probably about 40 to 50 students involved in actual performing. Then we also pull in students from band and from orchestra and things. For example, this year we're going to have a couple violinists. We have extra percussionists. We have all people who want to become involved. We do an audition process for the songs. We pick our theme. This year it's All American Tour. And we asked this year that all of the songs have a state or a city or the USA mentioned. And so they auditioned with that in mind. And Usually, most everyone wa makes it. I would say that we have a very talented population. If they don't, per se, make it, it's because either they can't commit to the time frame that's involved that week, because even though we don't have a lot of practices, the, they have to pretty much commit one whole week of their lives <laughs> to this show, the week that it's produced, or they decide for whatever reason it, it they don't want to. We will work with kids who maybe might be a little nervous and really want to do it. So it's not a matter of, oh, you have to be the top talent. Um, so it's, it's a nice way for a lot of different kinds of kids to be involved. But I'll tell you what, it comes off very polished. <laughs> well, um, since this is, um, it comes basically from student participation. Mm -hmm. Of course, if there's 
uh, a child that wants to be a singer, wants to perform in some way, and it doesn't work out, say the audition doesn't work out for them, I, I take it that you do find a spot yes. for that child to work in. Because of yes. course, it's every year that the kid is from ninth grade to twelfth mm -hmm. grade, so they have their we time have, to prep. Oh yeah, we have backup singers, we have dancers, we have backstage crew people. This year, for the first time, I had people ask, could I please be on backstage? Could I help with that? And so that's become quite a little, little thing to manage as well. I also have a stage manager backstage. I always like to say, the kids do a fabulous job. It's, they just need a little direction, and they come up with ideas that I never would. But for my job, it's kind of like taking, I always say, a bunch of little baby chicks and putting them on a table that's just a little too big for me to put my arms around. And I just kind of run around trying to keep them all corralled a little bit. But boy, by the time it, it comes forth, it's, it's a wonderful professional show. So the show starts uh, mm -hmm. April 1st. Actually, the show, we have two performances, and it's April 28th and 29th, starting at 7 each evening. To have that many kids involved, we really can't do more than two shows because they're very busy with sports. These are busy kids with sports and all kinds of things in their lives. So um, two nights is a lot for them to commit, and they have to commit to two nights prior to um, practice. So. But uh, when do you start the recruiting process or um, the auditions for this? The auditions were, oh my, those were in January. And so the, the, uh, the auditions start in January, but the actual committees start earlier than that, probably late December, early January. And the most difficult time to do it was our first year because nobody knew what American Pie was. Now that we're on down the road and it's become part of our culture, not only at our school but in our community, people are already asking about buying tickets. So, so people begin to start asking about it. And oh, when can this year? For the first time, people were asking about auditions in September, and we had a full sign-up sheet before November. So, do you have a large participation from, say, freshmen from the freshman class? Because of course, these kids come to the high school, and if they want to be in performing arts, whether it be a musician or a uh, actor, actress, they know that American Pie is already in right. place. So do you have a big participation from freshmen? I would say it's very equal. This year particularly, it's a big participation from freshmen. There's an already established band called the Stepping Stones that will be involved. Um, there are other musicians, too, in the ninth grade. Um, but we also, what I love too is we have, uh, for instance, three little ninth grade girls who are going to sing Dancing in the Streets. and. All of us, when they came to audition, Mr. Mercer, who helps me out with this too, he's quite a big part of our show because he helps manage the musical part. He was blown away by their musical talent. He said, boy, you guys get in here and sign up for choir right now. So, and I, one of the mothers called and said, oh, you just don't know what that did for my daughter's self-esteem. So, so that's part of it too. Yes, we do have a good participation in the ninth through the 12th grade. I would say this is our biggest year for seniors to be involved. A lot of the seniors grow up with it, but we have some new seniors that are involved this year too that maybe either they just get up the nerve to, to do it by their senior year or whatever, but one of the things that the kids have commented on this year is that quite a wide variety of kids are involved. So we're excited about that. Well, uh, that's certainly an exciting thing when you think of from uh, a standpoint of kids who normally aren't in, say, the band or in chorus, that this event comes up and they're like, okay, well, you know, you know, I'm in front of my mirror and, and I think I sound pretty good and I like to participate. <laughs> And to get up the nerve to do it, it sounds like something fantastic. And it must be easier for them since the whole production is done by their, their own peers. Oh, yes. And I think another thing that makes it easier, we ask them to, whatever they're performing, to, to dress as that performer. So if you're going up as Mick Jagger, for instance, you know, that's a whole different thing than if you're going up as, well, you're going to hear later from Peter Bonaiuto, he was our Mick Jagger last year. So whoever, whoever you are in that production, you have to be that person. So this year we're going to have a Charlie Daniels, we're going to have a Jason Aldean, we're going to have all kinds of people. Bruce Springsteen, and I need to mention too that we have at least seven teachers who are involved in the performance too. They, the kids just love it when the teachers are involved, and they've become part of that culture too. They, they ask me every year too, when's American Pie? What's my song this year? You know, so that's, that makes it fun too. Well, I'm sure if, if it was in place when I was in school, I would have 
put in for, for Prince, for sure. Yeah, oh, you would have been that, great. Yeah, I, I don't know. I've, I'm a little big for Prince, but I'm pretty sure I could have had my hair pretty nice. Get your sure. wig, all that. We would have had you set up. Cindy, thank you very much. Thank you and very of much. Of course, for... we'll continue on yes. with the students. Well, this has been the first half of Low Country View of Hilton Head. I'm Earl Yates, your host, of course. And my guest has been Sydney Sturgis. She's the coordinator and English teacher at the school. So we'll grab a snack, take a break, and come back and see us in just a bit.